Is empathy something that can be taught? Oh, you know, I boy, I just look around the political system today and I think <laughs> empathy is our number one problem. The kind of the starting point that we have this big empathy gap. And that if you want to address issues of race or gender or poverty, then a starting point is to talk about empathy. And I do absolutely think that it can be um, taught, nurtured. We have a certain amount of, of practical experiments on that. You uh, read a literary passage, and if you're tested afterward in psychology experiments, you feel more empathy. Um, so we just have to read more books? <laughs> wouldn't it be read like the New York like Times, read my human... columns. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but wouldn't it be more human? Co I would imagine it would be more human contact. No, you know, I, I think that um, uh, I mean, in race, for example, a lot of it is having friends from a different background. Uh, one of the things that strikes one in this country is that the twenty percent of wealthiest Americans donate less to charity as a percentage right. of incomes than the poorest twenty percent of Americans. And the reason is as a fraction of incomes that is. And and the reason is is that if you are affluent in America today, then by and large you live insulated from need. While if you are poor in America today, then every day you encounter people poorer than yourself and confronted by that need, you respond, you reach out. Bye.